Welcome to the BetQL Daily Boost. I'm Lucy Burge of BetQL.com, and I am joined by Dan Carbuck and Rick Chapsky, and we have KG's Parlay Boost for you today on the Celtics, Mavericks, and Lakers to all win at plus 110 at BetMGM. The Celtics have a great chance to get a win over the Pacers. The Mavericks are facing the Spurs, which is kind of all you need to know, and the Lakers have a feasible shot to beat the Warriors, so I love the value in this boost. Yeah, and some have called me numbers, Dan, in the past. And Many by have. Some, by some, I really are these just, people? Just, really just Lucy has called me numbers. Everyone, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the streets are all, everyone's saying it. They're yeah, like, oh, I yeah, mean, numbers, Dan, of course. <laughs> um, so I had to go to BetQL here and see what the percentages were and do a little calculation. So the Celtics have a 79.74% chance to beat the Pacers on the road tonight. The Mavericks have a 97.4% chance to beat the Spurs at home. The the Lakers have a 79.74% chance to beat the Warriors at home. So when you put all those together, there is a 61.93% chance that all three teams win, which is minus 163 implied odds. So you can get this at plus 110, get this at plus money at BetMGM. There's a ton of value, as I just showed. If you trust in the numbers and you trust me, numbers, Dan, you, you got to go with this one. When have numbers ever lied? <laughs> I can't think of a time. <laughs> You could you could right, just Rick. call me T Bone Rick, remember? Yes, yeah. no, Rick's new nickname is T Bone. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> uh, you you're looking at this um, a, a micro way. I'm going to look at this in a macro way here, and this is the time in the NBA season where you fade bad teams. Do money line parlays against these bad teams because this is the time where the NBA teams really start tanking. Uh, you have one today with San Antonio. Indy should be the same way. Why? Because you got Wembenyama out there, and you also have Scoot Henderson. So you have two guys that people are going to want to draft. These teams that are at the bottom want to lose basketball games. So play against it. And you have a uh, good option here today to do just that in Indy and San Antonio. And Golden State, they're just nicked up right now. So the Lakers should be able to take advantage of that. All right, thank you, T-Bone. Get in on this at plus 110 <laughs> at BetMGM and head to BetQL.com and get your free three-day trial today and check out our exclusive sports book offers there as well. And of course, follow us on Twitter at Daniel Carfuck, at RickCZ1, and at Lucille Burge. Favorite bets for today, I'm going with the Nuggets money line against the Cavaliers. I saw this at plus 122 at Caesars, where you can get the best odds on that. They are the underdog here, but the Nuggets finished the first half of the season on a three-game winning streak, so they have some positive momentum. Heading into the second half, the Cavaliers, meanwhile, are coming off of a loss, so their momentum may be not as high. Denver has won three of their last five meetings with the Cavaliers, including a 121-108 to win over them in January, so I think they can get the victory here over the Cavaliers once again. Nice. I'm going to go with the Kings minus five versus the Blazers. I'm also going to tease this up to double digits probably. I think the Kings are going to absolutely blow out the Blazers here tonight. Damian Lillard personally may drop 40, 50 points, but that doesn't really mean much because Anthony Simons is out. Yusuf Nurkic is out. That's going to be a huge problem for Portland because they don't have anyone to fill in for those guys. The Blazers have gone also uh, five and 14 against the spread against teams that have made 36% or more of their three point attempts this season. It just so happens that the Kings have hit 36.5% of their long range shots this year. So that trend is active tonight. Also Portland's gone just two and nine against the spread in their last 11 games. The Kings are finally back at full strength. They're fully healthy. They've gone an impressive 19 and 10 against the spread when playing against a team with a losing record this season. So when they're supposed to win, they do win typically and they do cover. And so light the beam. Give me the Kings to win and cover at home. There you have it from numbers, Dan, there. I, I like it. I like it. I'm uh, going college basketball, and this one is pretty simple, guys. Backing Big Ten teams at home. It's been very profitable so far this season, and the rack is one of the hardest places to play in the Big Ten. So I'm backing Rutgers minus five and a half. Uh, Michigan's Jet Howard, their second leading scorer, is questionable in today's game after uh, leaving the Michigan State game over the weekend. And Rutgers plays some really good defense, and they should clamp down on Hunter Dickinson. So I, I like uh, 
Rutgers in this one to hold Michigan under 60 points and get a win at the rack. 12 and 4 at home against the spread. Michigan 2 and 5 on the road against the spread. So all that added up. Rutgers today. Love it. Get in on all those bets and the boost and subscribe to the BetQL Daily Boost wherever you get your podcasts.